over the course of the the night or the evening, I want to identify those potions if he didn't take the time to do that. Okay, uh, okay they were um, already identified. Oh, okay. Yeah. All so right. you'll need to add the leather to your inventory, so because during today we need to go get that leather uh, to add that to your guy if you want it. And um, what else? And you can identify those potions. If you ask me for them, I just give them to you. I don't care. You can have them. What a green one, a red one, and a something else. Pink one, I think you said. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have much interest in them. Yeah. All right. By the way, we're live. Welcome to uh, the third hour of Destro Session Eight. Uh, final hour, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Sendo, take it away. All right. Uh, before all that, uh, the red potion smells like berries. The yellow potion smells like honey, and the green potion smells like grass. And they've all been marked. Uh, the green one's a cure disease. Yellow, acid explosion. That's what he wrote. It's basically a uh, flask potion. of acid. Okay. And a potion of light wounds. Cure light wounds. That's the green? That's the red. Oh, the red is... What was okay? The yellow was the acid. The red is the light wounds, and then what is the green? Uh, the green is cure disease. Huh, that's nifty. Mm-hmm. Now I can go visit the brothel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, it's just cure kidding. Minor disease. <laughs> well, it depends on the. I, I, you know, I'm not going to go to the five copper house. I'll go to the one that's five gold uh, and plus. So maybe it'll work. I don't know. Well, I do have two clerics in the group, too, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't handle some... that kind of stuff. You kidding? You know how much money you get from donations from nobles for that type of thing? Well, you're not I don't, I, I don't handle people's junk. That's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the rest of the day is going on pretty uneventfully. Uh, Krunk did mention if you wanted the le- or the hide leather reinforced, the leather hide reinforced. How would you say that? Leather, it's leather armor. Reinforced. What was that? That's been reinforced, reinforced with hide. Yeah, uh, but you'll probably have to go there, and they'll have to fit it to your character because it was fit for. Someone else. I could do is that. Is that light? That's light armor, isn't it? So it won't hurt a casting proficiency nah. and stuff or whatever. Not too bad. Yeah. Essentially, it's yes. hide plus one. <laughs> yeah, I just made sure it wasn't medium. I haven't looked at the charts or anything because I don't know if, like. Yeah, his height is 68. What's your height? Uh, let's see, I'm 5'3, so <laughs> 63 inches. So it's five inches too long. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't mean medium size. I meant the uh, yeah. No, he. We know what you mean. Armor. We know what you mean. Oh okay. So yeah, you probably just have to show up for a couple minutes, explain what happened, and have him make it a little bit shorter. Yeah, okay. should, like, make it Yeah, he's not a quite as tall as he used to be. So <laughs> he's about my size, though. Let's work with that. And. That day basically goes by uneventfully. Next morning, you can pick up your armor. Okay. Which is three AC. Three. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, has uh, wolf heads for the shoulder guards. Huh. That's for all good. down the sides, and looks really warm. It can never be too warm, unless you're on fire. Yeah. Okay. There's some patches where there should be fur, but there isn't. But other than that. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, noon comes around. The uh, uh, fighters are basically announced. Lord Barnabas has his fight with uh, Lord Osaka. 
which is from an eastern area. Lord Osaka is fighting with uh, trained soldiers. And Barnabas apparently was not expecting that, and he basically died to their tactics. <laughs> hmm. Do we know who we're fighting and against? Yeah, you're fighting against Osaka. Okay, with the trained soldiers. The eastern guy with the trained soldiers. Okay. Did we get to watch the match? Yeah. Uh, he basically fights with uh, uh, three spearmen, three archers, and then he and his bodyguard kind of sit back and let them do all the work. Okay. And he has a samurai warrior at his side with a katana. And we have we have no clue uh yeah. to, what does uh, Lord Osaka use? He has a katana but he's not armored or anything. Okay. All right. So I guess I'll look at the uh the other members and I'll say uh um our best plan would be to have uh Mega uh blow blow up if you if you do that um the uh the archers in the back while us three move up and handle uh the spearmen uh one on one if uh if osaka and his other men step up we can uh break ranks and uh i can deal with uh two of the two of the uh, spearmen, if one of you wants to stand back and run a support role and protect uh, Mega as we finish off the uh, spearmen, and then we can move up on the final two, if that sounds like a good enough tactic. Well, I can thunder wave some of them, but it would take one of my spells uh, to thunder wave them pretty hard, like would hit every... If if there's a group of them, I can hit a group of them pretty hard, like one time, and maybe even wipe them out. Might be a smart idea for you to uh, advance forward uh, first to take out the spearmen, and then we can move in if any are still there. Yeah, if there's a group, what were the three spearmen? Yes. Uh, three spearmen, three archers, then the yeah. lord and his bodyguard. Yeah, I can take out those spearmen first, probably. Yeah. Let's see. And then, as a team, we can move up on the final two, if they do stand back. Things may change. We must be always yeah, just, aware. Yeah, just yell out and uh, yell out, and we can adjust our tactics as we go as well. All right. So, do you agree? You with guys, that, prepare Michael? for your fight. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Uh, uh, Krunk, yeah, you are so. delivered the uh, Warhammer. No, oh, I'm delivered the Warhammer. Uh, like, as you're getting ready by the gate, a runner comes up to you with this uh, fairly nice-looking steel Warhammer. Oh, cool. I'm going to take it and look at it. And evaluate it. Does it, does it have, like, different stats in the old uh, warrior? It, it's the same as your regular, but it's uh, more durable. Oh, man. Alright, so I take it. It's better balanced as well. Okay. Alright. Are we going to get moved? I suppose. <laughs> All right. Are you guys on the right thing? Yep. All right. Uh, I don't have control. <laughs> it's your old token. <laughs> yeah. At least I don't have to deal with the question marks anymore. Yeah. All right. 
I guess while we set up, I'm going to get everybody's steps up, because now they matter. Sendo, do you want, like, a spell list or something like that from us? Uh, in your character sheet? Oh, just set which one's active? Yeah. I don't think you have them all there. I was looking at the wrong guy. There you go. <laughs> oh, crap, my range disappeared. I don't know what my range is on Sacred Flame. Uh, I can help you look for that. Anybody know the range of Sacred Flame? Okay, yeah, hold on, I think I have it. Do you have that cantrip? Yeah, hold on. Uh, range 60 feet. I'll look at you more prepared than I am. Thanks, <laughs> oh, you have it on your list, don't I just, you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have it on mine, too. <laughs> your Tempest Cleric? He's life. Uh, life. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm Tempest. So. Yeah. Is there one battle per day? Uh, there's two battles per day per group. Oh, but okay. because you guys were seated, you only have one today. Alright, wow. I don't know if I want to spell to make it through two battles. And these guys look like they're a little beat up. I mean, but they've already been in a fight. Yeah. The Lord Osaka and his bodyguard are completely untouched. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a health bar. Side face. Oh, you needy little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I'm talking in a normal voice. Do you want me to say all my stuff in uh, in my character's speaking sense? No. <laughs> okay. I'd have to drop a T-Rex on you. <laughs> uh... Uh, can you guys check your token stats, make sure everything's okay? Yeah. Um, you know my AC changes, right? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> um, I can't interact with my token. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. That helps a little. Just a little bit. Uh, Have to tell Sendo every time. I would like to move three squares to the right and two squares down. No. <laughs> <laughs> It says you should be able to control it. Um. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm the, the ruler up. I'm like, why can't I move it? Um. That ruler. Oh, there it goes. Move. I had to move him to get his. Yeah. There we go. So this thing should be. After today, our combat should be a lot more fluid. Yes. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. First character combat. Our first combat with new characters are always fun. All right, so initiative. So there's an announcer. Oh, he comes yelling o over the crowd. You can barely hear him because you guys are literally like a hundred feet below the crowd. Most of the people up in the stands have these binocular-looking things. <laughs> It's a really big uh, arena. In the center of the arena, there's a spike pit. Pretty much guaranteed death if you fall into it. So are we supposed to kick people into it and scream, this <laughs> is uh, Griffin Shore? Uh, no, that's not required, but you'll probably get popularity points if you did it. Sweet. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, oh. So... <laughs> Sorry, how I many... just got really naughty yeah. ideas. How many uh, of my 87 wins have been involving this this pit? Uh, probably around 10. Okay. I mean, you usually cut people in half, so... Yeah. And then up here, there's a spinning blade trap. 
Boo. Yeah. It's bedding, so just don't get too close to it. <laughs> I like There's like uh, minotaurs down just pushing this thing around in circles. I really like the arena layout. <laughs> oh, you you <laughs> haven't see? seen many of Sendo's maps yet. They get good. Well, they're always good, but... <laughs> Wait till I cram you into a small dungeon. <laughs> yeah. That we live in for seven days. Where you guys days. go into a bone pit and fight a, a skeleton dragon that breathes black breath that brings skeletons to life. Yep. That was fun. <laughs> then, of course, the party's too stupid to fight him in the hallway. They fight him in the bone pit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> One of them keeps running right, around to uh, corner so... to corner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Lord Osaka is announced, and then they announce Uzi and his companions. <laughs> Uzi and company. Yep. Yeah. That's good. So let's add you guys to. Yeah. You guys know how to do the initiative with the sheet? Basically, make sure you're selected on your character. Oh, yeah. God. I don't have my macro. Is he okay? It's fine. It's just. Think about the trailer. Manually. Okay. Sorry, guys. Talking to my wife. My rat oh. stole a piece of cheese and is sitting staring at me. <laughs> she gives him the treats. I I don't do them anymore. Like I don't get me wrong. I love giving him treats, but that's her favorite part of the day is giving the rat treats. So. <laughs> uh. So you said on the sheet there should be there's an, an initial. Oh yeah, there's a button. Yeah, okay, just make sure it. your token is clicked on, and then you click the uh, the initiative, and it'll automatically throw it into the uh, turn order. Okay, click token. Oh, this is the fancy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have it easy now. <laughs> now, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this works. Oh, now you're trying it. I like this fancy new thing they have that shows up when you roll these. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Let's see if it's working. Unfortunately for you guys, I'm rolling really well. Yeah. Well, let's get them all out of the way in the initial point. I don't mind them being close. By the way, what is this firing, fiery thing? Is this just a giant torch down at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It has spikes in the middle. I mean, you can pick up a corpse and throw it in there. But, okay. You know, it's just for popularity with the crowds. Yeah. All right. All right. Do you want us to roll? So these guys are going to... Uh, Move as a group, which means they're all going to lower, delay their turns for the next, or for the slowest guy. Too bad the same couldn't be said about the archers. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> so, uh, Ver, give me a... Uh, D two and Uzi, you do the same. Yep. Oh. So Uzi is slower than Osaka, and Varric is faster than the Archer. And Megamillus or Kronk, you guys can either go at the same time or whatever. <laughs> My turn order thing, they changed it, like, when I clicked on it to move it, it, like, shrunk down, and now it's just, like, a little rectangle that says turn order, and I can't see turn order. Maybe there you, should uh... be a... Oh, there it goes, it came back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All so right, this guy kind of steps up to the side, 
takes out his sword, le- uh, throws or points it towards you guys, and he yells out "Charge!" in uh, Japanese, pretty much. Show. It's, oh, show. Sh- it's show in this world, right? What? It's uh, that language is show in this world. Yeah. Yeah. Show. Mega. Okay. I am going to cast Scorching Ray. Uh, I'm unfamiliar with the spell sheets. Is there a way to click directly on the spell sheet to, to cast it, or do I have to roll individually, or how does this work exactly? Some of them, they I have to roll. I believe there should be a way. Yeah, some of them, they have to roll one another way, so you can roll, I think, uh, where are we here? They'll probably have to roll to resist, yeah. but you do the main roll. Okay, yeah. If it's, it's a ranged attack. Yeah, uh, you can hurl them at one target or several. Make a ranged spell attack for each ray on a hit. The target takes 2d6 fire damage. Oh, yeah, there's a roll thing um, on the right. Or use for... Oh, that's close. Oh, there's the, cast, there's the cast spell. Yeah. So let's, let's see how this works. I do apologize. It's the first time I've done it through the character sheet. I'm always more... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that didn't work. Nope. <laughs> At least it said what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> so we do have a log. Uh, um, do you have the number I don't... in there? Uh, let's see. Where's my stats for it? I don't have the range or anything. Like so I just made ranged attacks, one for each bolt. Um. Where's the? Wonder why it doesn't have the range or anything like that. I know I put it in there. I have it up on my other screen. Yeah. It's 120. 20. Yeah, they should be their archer. I'm gonna hit, uh, fire a bolt at each archer. So let's see. Hmm. So that should be. Uh, one second. Let me see. Okay. This. No problem. That worked. Uh, now hit the cast. You have to uh, select the uh, spell cast macro display options, attack, roll, and then damage. Wait, which I did for you. So now you can click uh, cast spell, and it'll cast it right like I did it. Okay. Uh, you have to check what you want to show. Okay, so do it three times. You're attacking three different people? Yeah, I'm attack- uh, it's three rays. One ray I'm going to hit. Uh, each of the archers with a ray since there's okay. three archers three rays so that'd be the first one uh, second one and then the third one alright so the first one definitely hits <laughs> you rolled a 31 plus yeah that seems like really high for a spell you rolled a 9 yeah, well like 31 your, is 19 proficiency it was it was natural nineteen on the roll plus whatever. It was plus twelve. So plus twelve. Is that right? I don't. It think should be so. plus like your spell proficiency modifier. Or well, the, it's the casting modifier, which is based after your class, which mine should be four from that plus the proficiency modifiers too should be plus six. I don't know where the other. Plus six is coming from unless it's doubling it for some reason. I don't know. It is weird. I, I, Either way, it hit with a 19. <laughs> yeah. Natural 19 on the first one, 18 on the second one, and 13 on the third. So the third yeah, with the hit. plus six would be 19, so. Yeah. So, want to explain to us what this looks like as he casts Scorching Ray? Okay. He basically holds up, he holds up three fingers and chants, uh, yeah, it is for a wolf opponent, holds up three fingers and chants, you know, a small spell and then points them out and three brightly covered, brightly colored flaming rays shoot out from his three fingers hitting one of each of the archers. Uh, 
All right, and uh, Krunk. All right, I'm going to... Here. Yeah, sorry, the desert yeah, background's kind of hard to see though. the grid. <laughs> Is there a way to measure and then automatically move the way you measure to? Uh, no. You can move no, it and then measure like it afterwards by hitting it. You can measure space. it with your token selected and use the arrow keys, I think. You can also or change no. the grid color from white if to black. It doesn't space, work. Don't you? Mind. You can also change the grid yeah, color. Yeah, you, you just press space while you have it held, and it'll give you a, a ruler. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll move up to here, and uh, I cast my spiritual weapon, that w which will... Uh, how do I aim go? i got to be another thing. Cast my spiritual weapon right there. I thought we had made a token for it, but I don't know. Where when I don't have it now. Oh, there it is. Cool. And I uh, Oh that should have done an attack. Well you have to select the little boxes. They've changed it a little bit. To make it a pain in the ass? Yeah. Yeah. Has to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it didn't even roll anything. Well, that's the damage. How do I do the roll? I had a button press thing. I'm supposed to do a, a melee damage, a uh, melee spell attack. Uh, you have to select uh, attack roll. Same way you selected <laughs> damage. It's somewhere in the middle. I'm trying to figure out why. This is. No, there we go, roll seven. By the way, Sendo Brim has uh, an idea on what it could be. I got it. It worked. It's in there. It doesn't look like I hit him with it, but... He could roll a one. You never know. Sendo. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> seven does not hit. Uh, yep, that's right. Three plus six is nine. Yeah, the problem was he had uh, extra stats put on there. Was it the same problem that I had with Kiyomi, I'm guessing? Yeah. Yeah. Where it automatically added the uh, stats, so when you put your own stats on there, yeah. Uh, yeah, under bonuses and penalties, yeah, so it doubled it. Yep, under okay. the spells. Uh, no, under core stats. Like it'll automatically do this stuff for you. Yeah, unless you literally have an item that's like minus one melee or uh, plus. To do uh, spell casting. Yeah. So your melee should so. be plus zero and your range should be plus zero in your right. bonuses and penalties. Those are like Under for your temporary stuff. Like oh, if you okay, get a temporary plus four, then you put it in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see. Yep. Okay. We're all, all figured right, out. We know that. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's no fine. I, I had the same thing and we just gave up and I just was rolling on my own with my old character. And then I figured it out as I was re-rolling. <laughs> so. Hey, Krunk, does your uh, hammer have stats? No, oh, the hammer? No, it's not like a jackable or anything. It's just like a spiritual weapon. 
Okay. It's just there. Mm -hmm. No hit points, nothing like that. They just move up, keeping their spear wall. This guy is looking at his uh, men that just got fire shot in their face, pretty much. And he says some encouraging words in a language that you guys don't understand. <laughs> Uzi. All right, I'm going to move up to here and throw a hand axe. All right. Uh, range is... 2060, so I don't have disadvantage. Is that... Is that true? You're right. <clears throat> so I just roll normal. Okay. And Which one are you aiming for? I'll, I'll aim for the one in the middle. Okay. No good. Nope. Minus one hand axe. <laughs> he, he deflects it with his uh, spear. Yeah. Tensai then stretches Very. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you were probably expecting an easy fight, but yeah. these are trained soldiers after all. Okay, I move uh, up, and I'm going to cast Bless on... Um, on Megamilius, Krunk, and Uzi. Okay. It's an area around you, right? Uh, yeah, up to 30 feet. Yep. Okay. And basically, whenever you roll an attack roll or a saving throw, you can roll a d4 and add that to it. Oh. Yeah, that's more useful than the plus other. one. <laughs> Wait, we can do what plus. now? What can we do? Uh, basically, if you make an attack roll, saving throw before the spell ends, you can roll a d4 and add that number to it. Is this a one time thing, or can you use it every turn? As long as this spell is going. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. so for every time. So after we see what our, what our attack roll is, we can decide if we want to add a d4? No, just always add it. Yeah, no, just always. To. Always. Oh, so we don't, not just once. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. All right. How long does Three. that last? Uh, one minute. Ooh, ten rounds. Ten rounds. All right. Archer's turn. Well, they did just all take fire to the face, so they're going to be aiming for you, Mega. Yep, I figured. 